How's it going everybody, Jordan here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over a very unique and different build and play style for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. As always, if you enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. I call this build the Kiss of Hades, and it melts every enemy you run into with one hit. Well, not instantly, but over time. I call it the Kiss of Hades because all you need is to hit an enemy once with one fire arrow and they will instantly ignite on fire and burn to death over time, completely all the way to death. Even mercenaries, but certain higher armored units may need a few more arrows to get the full fire build up. This build is very different from all the other meta crit builds out there, so if you're looking to try something new or different, this is the build for you. So what makes this build work this way? Well, first we need to understand what causes fire damage over time effect, and that's connected to the elemental buildup perk. When you hit an enemy with either fire or poison weapons or arrows, you'll notice a circle appear above their head. Once that circle is filled with a white bar all the way around, the enemy starts to take damage over time by either fire or poison. What fills that bar up quicker is elemental buildup. This build focuses on high elemental buildup to get your enemy quickly on fire and then high fire damage to melt them over time as quickly as possible. Okay, let's go over the build focuses. So we're focusing on elemental buildup to get that bar filled as quickly as possible. Again, fire damage to make sure every tick does the most amount of damage and fire duration to make sure that the enemy is on fire and taking damage for as long as possible. Finally, I realized while testing this build that fire damage ticks can crit so you're going to want to get a high crit chance and crit damage so that you can deal even more damage over time with this build. Mixing all these perks together and you're able to use either multi shot to hit multiple enemies just once and watch them all melt or one enemy with a single fire arrow and watch them melt before your eyes. Another pointer with this build is from a distance if you hit an enemy and they can't see you, when they ignite on fire they'll just stand there trying to pat the fire out and take fire damage and die over time because they don't know where you are. So this build does have some hunter stealthiness to it. Once you're using this build to its max capacity you'll be able to melt the entire conquest battlefield because all you need to do is hit one person once and leave them alone and you know they're gonna die. So you just can fire multi shots across an entire conquest battlefield and melt the entire conquest battle so quickly and you can honestly complete conquest battles way faster with this build than a lot of other builds which I find very useful. Alright let's go over the exact gear for this build. Now the one thing I want to say is because this is focused on fire damage and damage over time, the primary perks in this build don't really matter. I mean you are using hunter weapons so you could put hunter damage on all these items uh, and you'll do a lot of initial damage and then they'll melt. But I decided to avoid that to do the least amount of damage just so I could watch them melt. So again the primary perk with this build doesn't really matter at all. Alright let's look at the primary legendary weapon. We are using the Prometheus's Sika here. So the warrior damage like I said doesn't matter. What I'm looking for here is fire damage additional fire damage and build up so they catch on fire quicker and deal more damage and then the crit damage so that when the fire ticks crit it deals 35% more damage. On my secondary weapon we're using the hammer of Hephaestus which is the hammer you get from killing Argus the mythical creature. Again the warrior damage doesn't do anything for us but we're looking for the fire damage and then the elemental damage and minus physical damage doesn't matter to me because it's all bow attacks and then 30 percent elemental damage but minus 30 percent elemental resistance. I didn't use the minus 30 percent elemental buildup because that would affect how quickly people catch on fire. So this one secondary weapon here is adding almost 68 or like 70 plus fire damage just this one weapon which deals a lot of damage. And then for our bow we're using the Hades bow so all the basic arrows are fire arrows. We get fire damage and then I put crit chance on it for those ticks to crit. On the head we're going with fire damage, crit damage, crit chance. Again the crit chance will make the fire ticks crit. Additional crit damage and fire damage will obviously increase those damages as well. And then on the gloves we have crit chance, 
crit damage while at full health and then I engrave it with additional elemental buildup. On the chest, this is where we get to put 7 seconds of additional burning duration, crit damage, and more elemental buildup. On the waist, crit damage while at full health, crit chance, and more elemental buildup. And then the boots, we're going to put crit damage while at full health, crit chance at full health. And then the Agamemnon legendary set, 50% burning rate. What that does is that makes the ticks happen 50% more speedier, like a 50% uh, increased tick chance. So they're firing off a lot more often that way. All right, let's look at the abilities for this. Now, you don't need much abilities. You just want to focus on getting the fire mastery. And then I use vanish because if I need to get out of it because you're running around and you're trying to avoid getting hit vanish is a great tool or a uh, ring of chaos to kind of crowd control get people away from you because you are very glass oriented and because they don't die instantly you're gonna be like running away from them so having abilities that kind of keep them at a distance is great you're always gonna want health uh, because in case someone accidentally does hit you. Uh, we have the passives for Gear Master, Weapons Master, and Shadow Assassin. And then the Hunter abilities, we're going to want Archery Mastery to get the additional Hunter damage. Multi-Shot, because again, you just fire one multi-shot into a Conquest battle, and you'll start to melt the whole field very quickly. This build quickly becomes one of the best Conquest battle builds, ironically, just because all you have to do is make sure you hit one person once, and you can move on all right let's look at the masteries here so because we're not doing any melee or anything i went and uh put 20 points into crit damage i put some points into bow charging speed because i have the extras but what i'm focusing on is crit damage and then on the assassin side we want crit chance and crit damage while at full health and then the main ones is i put as many points as I could in fire damage. And then I put 20 points into elemental buildup to get people to catch on fire even quicker. All right, for the transmog for this build, what I did is I used the uh, the war mask, black iron war mask. Gauntlets, I used the renegade chains uh, just to kind of show the whole like uh, melty chain kind of stuff. And then for the chest, we're doing ancient king's body armor, uh, which is a black version of the like Agamemnon mom i believe and then the waist we're using the uh renegade uh waist again more chains and loops and stuff that look pretty cool and then for the boots what we're doing is we're using the uh, boots of Ares, which have these spikes on them, which is really cool. And then paired with the Aegean Atoll Phobo skin, which has a bunch of spikes, uh, it looks really cool and it's really fun to play with as well. So that's the Kiss of Hades build. And this build is a lot of fun to play and a very unique build and playstyle for those looking for quirky builds to play with. Or if you're looking for a build that clears a conquest battle faster than any other build, this is that build. This build also works well with the legendary Agamemnon set if you do not have the epic gear to try it out. So that also will work very well for this setup. Let me know in the comments what you think or if there's any other quirky builds you might have or you want me to feature. And if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate the support. Thanks again and I'll see you guys next time.